so mad she wouldn't talk to me for a whole month. I think girls might be more stubborn than guys. I don't know about all girls, but my sister definitely is. I wouldn't trade her for anything, though. Well, she's really lucky to have you for a brother. You think so? Mm -hmm. Hey, there's Miguel and Charity. Wow. They almost look like they're back to the way they were with each other before the fire. Hey, you two, what's up? Hey. Kay and I are just hanging out. Way to go, Reister. I didn't know you guys were going out. What a good surprise. Where are you taking Charity? The book cafe. I thought she'd feel more comfortable there. No kidding. I mean, I never would have dreamed Miguel was taking you here tonight. Well, since we're all here, why don't we hang out together? Hey, you notice how the music in this place has gotten a lot better since Chad started putting it together? I love this song. So do I. It always reminds me of you. The words could be about us too, Kay. Ah, look who's here. All my young friends. <laughs> what a delightful surprise. <laughs> I know what you're all thinking. Why has dotty old Tabitha come out for coffee with her doll? Don't worry. I'm going to order him a decaf. I wouldn't want him to be up all night. That doll, his eyes just opened. Did they now? Ah, oh, I should take care of it. <laughs> Defective springs, you know. I'll fix them when I get home. Well, I'll leave all you young people to your fun. <laughs> I know you wouldn't want an old tabby hanging around. That's okay. Oh, no, no, dear. I understand. I was young myself once. Really, I was. <laughs> Is she getting weirder, or am I just noticing the way she's always been? She's totally bizarre. I mean, can Whoa. you imagine carrying around a doll like it's a real person? <laughs> I don't know. I think she's just lonely. She probably thinks of the doll like it's her child. I think it's kind of sad. I never thought of it like that. Leave it to you to see the sweet side of Tabitha. I don't think we ought to make fun of her anymore, Kay. Remember last year's winter ring, Miguel? We went to that ski lodge and the chaperone got stuck on the <laughs> lift all night. That was crazy. <laughs> you said it was your best vacation ever. We're going back this year again, right? I don't know. I talked to some of the other kids and they've got other plans. Well, so what? We can still go. Maybe. I, you know, I think you'd really like a charity. I know you still have memory loss from the fire, but... Maybe you remember if you've ever skied? Uh, I don't think so. That's too bad. It's not really something you pick up on. It takes a lot of practice. I'll teach her. Thank you. I would like that. Uh, you and Reese? I know Kay wouldn't have any fun if you're not there. I wouldn't miss it. I'll just rearrange my schedule. Excuse me, I'm gonna go fix my hair. Do you wanna come, Charity? Sure. I don't think my mom ever let me wear much makeup. But lipstick looks so good on you. Maybe I should try some. You? I don't know, Charity. I wouldn't. I mean, you're so fair. It might make you look kind of harsh. Mm. So, um, you and Miguel seem to be getting along really well, considering it's your first date. I know. I can't believe that he put up with me all that time when I couldn't remember how wonderful he was. But now that I'm getting my memory back, I feel really close to him. Let's hope that's all you remember, honey. Miguel is really happy that you're going out with Reese. You two just make the best couple. What a nice thing to say. I'm really glad that we ran into you tonight. Not that Miguel and I aren't having a really good time. It's just that, you know, going out with a guy is still really new to me. It's nice having you here for support. Yeah, sure, anytime. You know, I know how important first dates are. My mom always said they could make or break a relationship. <laughs> I hope I don't make any mistakes. You won't, just as long as you don't give Miguel the wrong idea. You know what I mean? Um, you're gonna think I'm an idiot, but I don't think that I do. Well, I just meant you know how boys are. <laughs> Not really. I think Miguel's the first guy I ever liked. You know what, Charity? Just forget I said anything. You know, it's it's your business. No, please tell me, Kay. I really like Miguel, and I don't want to mess things up. 
So you just tell me what to do. If you really want me to, Charity. This I can't wait to hear. Going out with a guy, you have to be extra careful not to make the wrong impression. But Miguel already knows what kind of a girl that I am. Maybe, but maybe not. You know, take Reese. I mean, I have really strong feelings about him, but I know I have to take things slow with him. So, if he tried to kiss you or anything... Oh, no way. Oh, are you kidding me? If I let him do that, the next time we went out, he'd have his hands all over me. And the time after that, he would definitely expect me to go all the way. And you'd have a right to, because I led him on. I can't believe it. I know what you're thinking. Not Reese, he's such a good guy, but that's how they are, all of them, you know? I mean, when they like a girl, they don't think with their brains, they think with their hormones. Is that true? Shh, I want to hear this tip tip. But Miguel seems really patient and sensitive. Oh, he is, just like Reese. But, you know, they're still guys. They can't help themselves. The trouble is, you can really tend to let your guard down around a guy like that, but once you do, bam, there goes your reputation. Forever. That's awful. I know. That's why I thought I should clue you in. My mom always said if you really like a guy, you should keep your distance from him as long as possible. She thinks that's the only way to have a meaningful relationship with him. <gasps> what did I tell you, Tim Tim? She's good. <laughs> that's why I'm not gonna let Reese kiss me tonight. Or on our second date, or even on our third. But I don't get it. You already did kiss Reese at the Halloween dance. Uh oh. You know that that was different. I was in costume. I mean, I didn't think Reese would ever find out it was me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. Well, I'm really glad you told me all this, Kay. I would have blown everything tonight by letting Miguel kiss me. But now I'm going to take things slow. I'm glad I could be of help. <laughs> all right, I'm going back. You coming? Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Hey, Hi, Simone. Charity. How are you? Good. Good. Hey, Simone. I don't think I should stay. You're all out on dates. Don't worry about it, Simone. Uh, Kay's right. Besides, I was going to take Charity for a walk down by the harbor. Look at the Christmas lights. Thanks anyway, but I think I want to help Chad pick out some music. I'd kind of like to see how he does it myself. Come on, Kay. Don't you want to go see the lights? They just put them up today. Um... Could we just stay here with everyone else? Sure. Whatever you want. What's wrong? I just don't think that we're ready to kiss this soon.